Let's see. Are you all right? <laughs> well, you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> when you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... Flood. Flood. A little. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. <laughs> and thusly do we come to the present moment. Ring? Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> no. No. Together, that ring is as good as ours. And with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't going to be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, and seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one Mirror? of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl. Two sets of hands. Behind <laughs> us lie a pair of enormous gates. But I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started, then. I guess we better. Okay. My floaters. No way I'd be able to swim. Yeah. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? 
Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? Yeah. Hell. Like this. You know, I thought, you know, I'm reminded of a delve I undertook out near the plant. Stone ruins, cloud tall, and lake wire. I spent 13 levels on that monstrosity, but no wall. This great stone column bearing the weight of the level above. Filled out with all upon row of those enormous trusted out old world carts. You know the ones uh, with the four wheels? I've scraped through a hundred of those trucks. Marvelous! You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin! On it. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving. There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right you are. Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Ought to lock this thing in place. One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! Where are we going? A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go, and no further. You're kind of starting to get on my nerves. Hmm. I'd wager the vowels for the second sluice gator somewhere above. How are we gonna get up there? Let me look around, see what I can find. Um. Let's just see ladder release. Simple level. Nice jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! I've never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Thanks, I think. Oh, you're close, girl. Just spring across the gap. Ah, uh -huh. you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below. Now we've done this once before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you'd take the valve on the other side. If it's set up the same way on this side, I should look for an access tunnel. Uh-huh. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. Yeah, it's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken? What are those?
big and broken. Yeah, I'm gonna get swept away. Oh, there's a light under there. I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? Look for the counterweight. That's Looks it, like isn't it? Looks the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. Could climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do now. Whoa. Jump straight to the counterweight from here. But I could climb higher, get above it. And rappel down. No! The drop's too far, girl! Oh! <laughs> Control falling. Very clever. Going down. Really? Your weight makes the difference? Your what? It's 50 kilograms? Almost low enough to jump. You can make it! Let's see another one of those mad leaps! <laughs> Got it. We're good to go. You were a sight to see. Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. <laughs> Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! Just let me burn that thing. It's dead. <laughs> Marvelous. So, the uh, ring. Maybe if you 
pry its jaws open and reach inside, I can't look. Come here. You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. <laughs> That's the old gilded intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen routes can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. What's this? Oh, what's in notes. here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is full of surprises. Should we have a look? Didn't you want to get into the storage room? I do. Fervently. But, well, I got time to poke my nose in if you did. Okay, shells. Shells, we're not focusing on that right now. Recording, okay? We're not even in the band meeting. Sort of count practice, right? Uh, merch. We need merch. Stickers! You're not a real band until someone vandalizes government property with your sticker. Colleagues, I have been asked to remind you that conversations determined to be irrelevant to servitor training are discouraged. What were you saying about vandalizing government property? <laughs> We drained enough water for what we need to do, but I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. How do I empty out the whole dam? Hang on, let's see what's down there. Pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. Sure are a lot of valves. Should check my focus first. Perhaps my focus can help me. Hang on. Valves 101 from Laura Fogel. Yo, Shelly, I'm trapped in Servitor Hell over here. Got in this morning, and as usual, that one half-baked chrome dolt was bumping up against a locked entry door in the reservoir room, moaning about requiring entry into the tot totality of the facility. Between its robot voice and those weird grindy sounds that slims make, the acoustics remind me of a track from one of the less accessible German post-punk bands. I've told them and told them, every night, the pipe network decouples so that the reservoir can refill, and every morning it has to be reset manually. All you have to do is turn the valve thingy so that the water flows directly to the pump. The rest of the servitors seem to get it, but this guy won't stop bugging out. I mean, I know we're supposed to be on-site advisors, but this is getting ridiculous. Do I have to scratch the instructions into their stupid shiny faces? Right, control tower. Emitter. I know we're Alright, time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry, I think I've got this. Music to my ears! To each job its proper tool! Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. Okay, we've got this. This is broken. That's not quite right. This goes here, and this drains out. Okay, where's the exit? I'm guessing this way. So... Drain it like this. You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. And not I. Here. No, indeed. Not old Gildan. No, this breaks. Something's not right. This way, no. And this way. And this goes here. And this goes here. And then this goes there. And then this goes there. 
This job demands a certain degree of patience, doesn't it? And I'm afraid I inherited my mother's no. restlessness. There, that should do it. We should head back. See if that took care of the rest of the water. Got it working, did you? <laughs> of course you did. Never met a conundrum you couldn't unconundrum, have you? The door's open. Guess it had sealed because of the flooding. What didn't you pick up? The healing potion, of course. This must go down to the lower level. No, can't just get down though. Okay. Health potion, of course. What's that purple thing? Ugh, it stinks down here. Mm, mm, you smell that? Ugh. Smells like a forge side morning in the claim. Looks like that's everything. I should head back up with Gildan. Drummer's weapon coil? What is that? A very rare freeze shock corruption. Of course it goes on my on my bow. Freeze shock corruption. Slightly less corruption, but a lot more freeze and shock. Lovely. What's this? Compensatory damages. See? Check this out! We could just bang on this pipe, you know? It... Could we sample that or...? Well, totally! Like, what about after the... Oh, sorry. Just a second. Notebook. Dear nobody, I feel embarrassed now thinking about following Laura out to the pump station like a kicked puppy and wondering what horrible thing I might have done until she threw herself into this room and shut the door behind her and just screamed. The fear of abandonment is weirdly self-centered. Because it presupposes that little old you are filled with such immense destructive power that you are capable of driving every person you care about away. Anyway, at the bottom of the dam with her on one side of the door and me on the other, she told me that Metallurgic had bought her mom's house, her whole neighborhood in fact, out from under her to build a new server farm. Ugh, God, I don't even like that house, she said. I don't even like Indianapolis. I hated every minute I spent in that city as a kid. When they told us we'd have to leave the dam, I went back to my apartment and I sat on my bed and I prayed to a god I don't even believe in that I wouldn't have to move back home, that I wouldn't have to show up on my mom's front stoop with a suitcase and a bunch of stupid excuses. She was trying not to sound like she was crying, but she sounded like she was crying. I guess I got my stupid wish, huh? I asked her where she'd go and she laughed. Where else could she go? Back home help her mom pack up the house to move with her into whatever dank little one-room hole metallurgic displacement grant would allow them to afford. I think I could have dealt with being one of those losers who celebrate their 40th birthday living in the house they grew up in, but now, now I don't even know, don't even have that. I had no idea how to make her feel better, so I just sat on the other side of the door and I started singing the song we're walking on, the one about being the last two girls on earth, and eventually she started singing along. Cute. Okay. How do we get back up now? Is this a way? This looks like a kind of way. No, that's where I went where I was before. But it should work, right?
the stuff where I want to go. Yeah, it's getting jagged. Uh, lower the quality a bit. I can't wait, I can't wait! Why did you take that thing off? Uh... What... Um... What are you doing with your hands there, girl? Just shut up and listen. <laughs> I can't believe that worked! I thought you'd lost your mind, pickling the empty air like that. Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Where is it? Where did it go? Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I, I was so sure. Right there in the window. I was... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a delve it was! Ugh! By the great blazing forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Yeah, just let me have a look over here. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Oh well, too. I mean, this is it. We get to play together, what, maybe two more times? Nah, shells. Farewell tour! Reunion tour in like six months. Let's <laughs> do it all the time. <laughs> For our adoring fans. It's not that hard to stay in touch, Shelly. We could practice in hollow space. Oh, we got in. Dear nobody, we got in a fight, Laura and I. After practice, we went out for drinks. There's this slow bar in downtown Cody, so we called another car and shuttled over. We were the only people there. With the park closing, Cody's becoming a ghost town. The more we drank, the more passive-aggressive our bento became. Snowballing out of our control, met metastasizing in the empty air between us. And then, before either of us really knew what was happening. We were yelling at each other. I kept thinking, like, I'm not abandoning her, she's abandoning me. And I guess she was probably thinking of something similar. We got quiet for a while, drank more, eventually Laura ordered an auto car and we piled into it. Slid as far from each other on the back seat as we could, arms crossed, staring out the window, and then I heard myself talking. Screw it! I don't care if you stay in touch with me, I'm going to stay in touch with you. Whether you like it or not, you're not getting rid of me, ever. Laura looked at me for what it felt like ages. I thought she was going to start yelling, but then her hand crept over mine, and we just sat there together. Oh. You wanna hit? 
You wanna do it? <laughs> oh, that's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge. <laughs> do, hey. you wonder? do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> I'll pass by that a few times. Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon? Whew, you're braver than me. But there was no question of that. <laughs> you little Gildan. Wait, how do I get there? Where is there? Ah, right. The overflow basin. Yeah, uh... How did we say we get out of here? Lower. And going by that sound, I think Lao Lai's already at the din. Let's save. Just in case. Brew that up later. I saw you. The mission's joyride by Laura Fogel. To Shelley Guerrero McKenzie. Okay, girl, you are never going to guess what happened on my way home last night. First thing, I heard the sound like a herd of killer bees escaping out of a tin can. Then there was this weird light through the trees. I was totally hoping it was aliens, but nah, it was one of those old blue spectrum LEDs. It looked super creepy on the snow. As it got closer, I heard some Yahoo letting out this weird guttural man shriek. As if he were doing some macho primal scream therapy, you know, with a thousand RPMs between his legs. That Yahoo was none other than Bard Ble Todd Blevins, a new director of security or whatever his $20 title is. He was actually riding an old snowmobile, they're like a thousand times more polluting than a combustion air car. In my expert professional opinion, Blevins is a great A douche canoe. I decided not to stick the security bot on his flabby ass. After all, he's practically our boss for the next two weeks. But Charles, you might want to take a bathroom break now, because you're going to lose it when you find out what I did instead. I was standing right near one of the trail signs, and I could tell Blevins was headed for me, so I reprogrammed the sign to swap directions between Fairy Falls and Purple Mountain. Wicked, right? You'd never get a snowmobile up there. I hope he bailed out hard and had to walk back to the lodge. Guess I'll be filling my very first incident report right before this whole thing shuts down forever. I could let it slide like usual, but then where's the fun, Charles? Where is the fun? Animals? Right, I should get more goats. Watch 
Yeah, she's got back to drumming. Anything from you? Not enough blue gleam. Not enough blue gleam. And sell. Flint hawk. Flint hawk. Save this for a bit. Oof, okay, I'm set for life. <laughs> the modification. How do I upgrade my spear, god damn it? Yeah, it's cold, but you have hard light shields. Great, that moss. She wasn't kidding about the sound. Yeah, what about the snap moths? That's four of them. Do this silently. You show me where you're walking. Okay. Okay, your your time will come.
And down. Out of range. Come here. Come here. Come get me now. me that's okay okay died over there Surprised. Hey, what are you doing? It's my kill. Just keep on getting burned. the other one.
Are you having the other one? Looks like they're having the other one. Ooh, ooh, I can shoot from from here now. Here, try to hit me from here. Keep burning. Don't don't bother. That's mine. That's it, he's done. Must be the entrance to this den. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. Last girl's on us. The other cars are on their way. Mine will take me to my apartment in Cody. Hers will take her to the Vertiport. She brought luggage with her to work today. Everything she owns packed into two little suitcases. She's wearing the fanciest outfit I've ever seen her in. It's for mom, she said. She bought me this outfit, if you can believe it. Normally, like, who cares, but I don't know. She's already dealing with a lot. We walked through the dam today, listened to all these tapes, heard all these messages, and maybe this is one of those find my yearbook will never lose its touch things. But I'm not scared of losing Laura anymore. We're family. We didn't inherit each other or settle on each other. We chose each other. No amount of distance, no number of jerks in bad suits or obsequious robots are going to tear us apart. 
So listen, on the off chance that someone ever actually does stumble into these things, here's the truth. There was this band called Concrete Beach Party, and for a second it was the best band in the world. And you, whoever you are, are really, really lucky, because you're the only person who ever got to hear them. You never, Baskers on us. Cute. Last Girls on Earth by Concrete Beach Party, recorded in the Overflow Basin Studios. Laura Fogel on guitar, Shelley Guerrero McKenzie on Vox. Electronics percussion, courtesy of the magical power of automation. <laughs> Loss of livelihood, also courtesy of the magical power of automation. It's been real. <laughs> Enjoying yourself? You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. Ooh, blue gleam. Yeah, it's cool. You're cool. <laughs> He's playing... A oh, damn. Okay. Closest quest, the Shaman's Path. Secret Shard. Oh yeah, I want to upgrade the spear. And there are pigments over here. That's the Grey Catch. That's another tower. That's the Shaman's Path. I want to get up there, there's a hunting grounds. Okay, let's... port over here. And head for where the spears are. Come on, up you go. is definitely on fire. I need a better approach. Damn it. from the tower. Oof. Okay. We got a demonic long leg. Demonic long leg. 
doesn't like shock arrows. Damn it, just show me your sparkle. Oh, there's another one. Crap. Okay, they're heading back. We've got Selman. Where is it? Can I shoot that thing? I'm not sure that's what I need. Ah, that's gotta be freezing cold! from here if they don't kill me Oh, you off there. There's another one. What the actual hell? No, oh, well, I gotta take care of this one first. Just be on fire, that's okay. Gone. Come on. Let's put on the pulse. Oh my god, this must be freezing! And the log leggings are coming. Hmm. 
just me. Okay. Need to override the tower. Take control. I'll just kill it. Get another hit in. Oh, what's that? Look at me! I think I'm in the clear. Another snuff mark. And they're under. They're under. Damn it. Need skin. Yeah, that thing's gone. And snap on here, snap on, shoot at me. There we go. Bye bye. Down you go. Hit that thing. There we go. Up, 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 up.
Damn it. Up, get up. So many dead fish. Get up. left. Wait, if I have fish skin, I can make this. Yay! I like the blazing water. Very cool. That's another snap mark. Blaze and canister. Still not so tough. Nah. I can't feel my... I can't feel much of anything in this. Yep. Let's start the file then. Okay. No, that way. That'll help. Right. Animals. Badger. Fire first. Damn, it's gotta be cold. Okay, I'll have that goat then.
Ah, damn it. Come here. You are not excused. Fine. Demonic scrapple. I'm guessing that's the shaman's path. Or something. Camel's rock. Yeah, people. Squirrel. Coming back, but she'll be some... back. She never falters. But if she has, then Listen, I'm hey. the one who can throw a spear the farthest. And I'm the one who can climb ice the fastest. You have passed one test. The next Isn't test is of silence. That have fallen under the... What are your hunters doing so far out here? We are of the white teeth, come down from the jawbone of Banur to test those who would run with us. A test? In those hunting grounds? No, it is an ordeal. Survive upon the glacier in the knife trail, as our ancestors did. It's been a harsh season. Two have yet to return. We shall wait. Then we shall bless their attempt. Then we shall leave. What does this ordeal involve? To scale the glacier's face and endure four days and four nights, sustained only from the frozen ground of the machines. Our shaman has blessed the ordeal and permitted their harvest. Metal to fashion weapons. The rest is forbidden. Aren't your hats extremely heavy? What about the two who haven't returned? It was their ordeal to face alone. Their life or death. Those who return know the white teeth run alongside them. Those who do not know the white teeth mark their attempt. How generous. You're from Banur. Do you know about Aratok and Araya? Strong names, indeed. They have many songs. But there is a reason they roam out here, in the cut, and not among the great war acts. This obsession with Thunder's Drum will be their undoing. So who are the White Teeth? Warriors. The first and the best. All young hunters hungry for the fight seek to run with us. Now the machines are angered. There was always fighting. We are well served, eh, Shaman? Every day, lightning cracks in the smoke of battle. Every night, a new name to honor in song. Oh, you're not freezing. Aren't you even going to look for your missing hunters? In time. As months pass, the meltwater often carries the bodies out. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a chance they're alive, then I'll look for them. Even if they did still live, they will not accept your aid, Outlander. To us, survival is sacred. Nothing else can be relied upon. We'll see. Before the bandit. The survival. Uh, where is it? Over there. No, I'm going there first. I'm gonna find the real part. Survival is sacred. So they leave people to die? So, machines in the yeah, south they have other things their to do. own sort of corruption. I love the ice place. It looks amazing. Blaine Hawks? Lancehorn. Oh, you love Lancehorns. Go! Usually, 
with some accompaniments, isn't that? Good for an old remedy. Oh, the other dead one. Got all of them? Cool. Damn it! There we go. Well, goats. Goat skin! Yay! Tasty. Hello. Ooh, vegetable skins. Oh, this is one of them. Okay. Must be the cave that shaman told me about. Long way down. And also, not natural either. Yeah, also stalkers. Too bad. Okay. 
that was good. That'll keep my stomach quiet. Okay, stalkers. Stalkers. Yeah, shock. Shock them and take them apart. Obviously. Might not be alone down here. Definitely not. Damaged. Guess the Banuk already got to it. Here's one of the metal birds. Damn, nice fighter craft. Focus might see something here. Platform console. If I could move that flying machine over a little. And I'm figuring. Just have to go up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Focus could reveal. Yeah, how do I get up now? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't reach that. Maybe there's the same way. some way to get that flying machine over here. So grounded after all. Now I can get across. There's the door lock. I'll need to configure it. Well, a lock reset. If those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines, <laughs> they have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that. Wait, I didn't get, get all of it. If those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines, <laughs> they have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that holo-lock. Echo, zero, echo. Okay. I could check my focus, see what it sees. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. There's nothing here. No, get down. I understand, Mr. Blevins. I didn't ask for a bunch of flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities.
I'm a figurine number five. A five or seven commemorates commemorative set and ten recreations. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. Ban him from Harris Bonner. Kenny, I get it, okay? I really do. Pharaoh is fire, firebreak, Firebreak's patron. Blevins is Pharaoh's lapdog. Circle of ass kissing, blah blah blah. But if you allow Blevins to remain on site, installation is going to take twice as long as we're budgeted for. And I don't know how deep Firebreak's pockets are, but I can guarantee you they're not bottomless. We've just got done recalibrating the entire fleet. The entire fleet, Kenny. Why, I imagine you're wondering... Oh, Kenny, I'm so glad you hypothetically asked if Levins was unhappy with the baseline behavioral routines of the security drones, you know, the ones he selected himself. Not aggressively enough, he said. Not aggressive enough, he said. I doubt a Rottweiler mounted on an ICBM would be aggressive enough for him. So we patched in some combat behaviors, which, let me tell you, was not easy. Basically, outfitted these things for war. Think about that, Kenny. Bleeding edge combat drones patrolling an empty wilderness. Also, Blevins can play army on Firebreak's time. I'm begging you, Kenny. Find a way to bar him from the hangar, please. What do we have here? Mounting rail. That's what I want. Mounting rail special. Shouldn't be hard to remove. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. Okay. Of course, the stalker. For me. to shop anymore. I'm guessing I still have a thing. Demonic ones are less prone to shock. Okay, is this the way out? So this thing will improve my spear, huh? Can't wait. Hunting guns. Introduced. 
Down you go. Okay. Everything's fine. Oh, I want to go that way. Begin the hunting trials. Snow chance hunting grounds. Kill machines with the storm slinger. Kill the waves of machines. Kill all major machines. I think that's something I don't have. Going down fast. Yeah, it definitely looks like an arena. But no one managing it. Um, hi. Can you open the door for me? Hi. Excuse me. What's going on? What can you do? Still not enough blue gleam. Nook Wera Krena, slow health recovery, more slug shine. Silver box. The Nook Gambler's box. Glacial box. Yeah, I don't know about those. But I'll buy one of that. And the weapon coil. You run the trials here? Resist file. This'll help. Why would I need resist file? Or resist please. Only Banuk train here in this no chance, young huntress. Unless you have a chief to know their shaman vouching for you. Can't say I do. Then forgive me, but the way of things is the way of things. Aha. Talk to hunting girls, keep up. But that's what I just did. 
Okay, let's find, find those survivors. <laughs> Love that ammo. How does that thing go up here? What the summer sun breeze through the trees? This is where I need to go. Nah. Fine. Now I'm going to there. Hello. Oh, That'll help. It's a trough in the ice more than a path. Well, find the glacier? I like finding glaciers. Get that lens on on my side. There's several of them. Get him back! Get him back! Cultures. Please.
what a leap! I just need one more point for the mounted part. Oof, that's an ordeal. I think I found one of the hunters. Culture lens. Okay, give me the blast sling. Nope, too far. Too slow. Oh, do they want my help? Catch me like that! This will help. Come on, give me a real- 
Aye. Yeah. An outlander, huh? Well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Werak. It's not so. Away from the Werak? Oh, great. Scarpa. Damn. They need metal too. But my need is greater. I was told the Banuk don't accept help. Is it true? They don't. I do. Okay, let's blow this joint. Like I said, these guys are so tough. You fight well. I am a Cree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. You look like you could leave if you wanted to, so... I stayed because of the other. My Len. She snapped her leg descending the ice. I bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Werak before they leave. What's with you and the Werak? Is joining the White Teeth so important to you? It's one of the great Weraks of Banor. Not so many great ones left now. I would go where my Lynn went. I was her shadow on the snow and she was mine. To be a runner with the white teeth was everything to her. What's this ordeal supposed to prove? That we have the strength of our ancestors. That we can survive as they did. When they came in search of a homeland, some were trapped against this glacier by a snowstorm. Four days, four nights. After the storm cleared, the survivors sighted a tall neck, which led them up into Banor. Well, that's the story I learned anyway. You know this Mylan well. Since our knees were always skinned. All my life. In a test to prove that we only need ourselves. That was my weakness. Sounds like she was lucky for your weakness. That's not the way she sees it. Mylan won't let you help her, will she? Because of the rules of this test. You're quick as a rock fall. No, just used to being told what's forbidden to me. <laughs> Won't take the medicinal plants I found or the food. Only what she can scrape up on hands and knees. I could get close when she was delirious. But now she's learned not to let me get close. So let's get her back to the Warwick. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. 
Knock her the out. law of survival. Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Even if she cares more for the law. Let's just do it. Let's go. While there's light. What lights? There's no light Come. in this blighted land. Up. These are helpful. Bitter, though. That's where we're going. Frozen flow from the Ice Father. It keeps many things, but it won't have her. Not if we can help it. Aloy? More up? Are you with me? I'm ahead of you. Come on. There's light. There. She's passed out again. Between us, we can fight the machines off before they reach her. Uh, another tradition broken. Take it from me. It gets easier the more you do it. <laughs> okay, let's switch to shock therapy. Oh, better yet. Too far. Let's try that guy first. To shoot with all your guts. Just stay out of their way for now. Rappers! In thin air, they smell metal for miles. Oh, come on.
Well, well. Seems like it's just the one. Right, they don't care about that. Let's just blast them. Back to your business. You know, well, I need the supplies. Look at this. feel her fever even in this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this leg. She is awake. <sighs> Miss Outlander. You bored her here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you. The ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive! Which would you rather keep, my Len? Your leg, or your pride? Because I think you're gonna have to choose. Finish it. I know what you think of me. But I vowed you'd join the White Teeth. And you will. She still looks and sounds familiar. I will go back. <clears throat> On my own. Alone. <clears throat> Are you sure? No! Let me do this. Please. Let her. My Len. I hope you can forgive me someday. I never accepted your help. <laughs> it's the where act you should ask for forgiveness. Oh, come on. 
I didn't care about the Werak. Oh, come on. He was here for you. She'll understand. You saved her life. You don't know the Benuk very well, Aloy. Uh, I guess not. We have so many ways to express a grudge. And only one to accept an apology. I have to go my own way. I don't belong with them. Who left her to die? And I don't belong with Ikri. I'll find a crack in this glacier, and I'll shout my grief into it. And the ice can keep it forever. What should I tell them? The Warwick. That I fell. And that she endured. Will you? Okay. That's what you want. Hearing more noises. There's another tower over here. The campfire and pigments. You know what? Let's do the pigments. Don't do that. Nice lance home. I dropped it. Crazy one, that's a crazy one. <laughs> More lance horns. Charger. Oh, I'm close to the mountain. Let's go with them, I don't need them. The coolie will want this. Okay, that's a thing.
forget what warmth feels like out here. Okay, now that towel. There we go. I think I'm in the clear. the outfit weave. This is shock, fire, and freeze. Huh. I think I'm done here. Bandit campaign pigments. Figurine tower. Okay. I'm gonna need to wrap up soon. Ugh, the scrapes. Looks good. Okay. 
figurine than the towel. Towel doesn't provide shock resistance, stuns overridden machines. Wait to remove ability to repair some machines, override, removes repair and resistance abilities, stuns hostile machines. Yeah, if I can get close to override, it's much better than just destroying it. Got one. Is it on the tower itself? Okay, I guess we handle the tower first. And a stalker. Great! And a red eye. Sure, blastling is on. Well, animal figurine. Okay, then, let's see if this thing can work for me.
Yeah, that's how you do that. Is there another stock I missed? That was definitely a something. Okay, let's talk to them. Prove to them that they do. We'll retake Stone Yield from the bandits before long. One challenge. My Len has returned. I expect you have something to say about this. I do. Then convince me what an outlander's word is worth. I'm not up on all of the Banuk traditions, but I know what matters to you is that your laws are upheld. Going by the rules of your ordeal, she endured the four days and the four nights. She faced the extremes and survived. Seems to me that's what you wanted. Just so. Then by the law, my Len will wear our paint. Outlander. So nothing of the other hunter? The one called Ikri? She's... gone. She sounded brave. Her name... will always be in my song. Okay. I have 13 blue gleam. Disturbs me. Extraordinary reward box. Open coil. No merchant here. Pigment here, merchant here. Let's do that. <laughs> it's all tasted. Fresh as it comes. Americanus, the magnificent American black bear, brought to you by Montana Recreations. Never even felt the goal, did you? He hadn't preserved you. Would anyone even know you disappeared? What's all this? Grab this while I can. Whoa. I hate to interrupt. Oh, I... Yes. <laughs> Hello, I... Well, an outlander at the Shrine of Forgotten Beasts. Welcome. I'm Enjuk. Uh, Aloy. The Shrine of... what? When the old world still breathed, a great man 
built a tiny totem to this beast and stored the visage inside. When the totem is placed on the pedestal, the animal is painted onto the empty air, and the beast lives again. Well, almost. There are seven pedestals. Where are the other six figurines? I found this one in the wilds, remembered the indentations in the pedestals here, and saw how they matched the base of the totem. But as you say, it's one of seven, isn't it? Oh, the great Montana recreations must have made more, but time has scattered them. Figurines? So these totems, the images they show are of animals that no longer exist. They're gone, like the old ones. Uh, so it seems. <sighs> to think such magnificent creatures are lost to us, that we never even knew they were here. We rely as much on beasts as we do on machines. For food, for warmth, but do we study them with the same fervor? Yeah, I do. For example, I have this theory about foxes. Why do foxes have red fur? <laughs> Think about what they eat. Meat? Raw meat. Bloody meat. See? Natural causation. Logical connections. It only makes sense. Mm. You've thought a lot more about foxes than I have. You said a great man made these figurines? Indeed. He was, I believe, a student of the natural world. Like me. Surpassing my abilities a thousand times over. The great Montana recreations. <laughs> Perhaps the finest natural scholar the old world ever produced. His voice claims responsibility for the totems, the vessels for the knowledge he accumulated. I share his desire to understand the beasts, to catalog their behaviors and preserve their images. I like to flatter myself that I'm an apprentice of sorts, carrying on his work. Someday, perhaps, if I am persistent, I can earn his name. Enjuk Recreations. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few more figurines for you, Enjuk. Let's see. The one. And the two. And the five. If we're already here, Docker Heart, Machine Core, Lens Horn Heart, Clint Heart Lens, Snapmore Lens, Scorcher Lens, we keep the Scorcher Lens, Grapper Heart, Machine Core, Animal Talisman, Mecha Shell, Amet Burn, Scrapper Lens, Um, chill water. Montana recreation. Oh, this is welcome news. I've arranged them on their pedestals. They already make for a dramatic scene, if I do say. Hmm. Cool. I should get going. Of course, of course. I've taken up so much of your time already. But... I don't suppose you could keep an eye out for more figurines? If I run across any, I'll bring them your way. Cool. A final two weeks. To all staff of Bounty Jeffers addressing the rumors. Some of you have overheard portions of the, let's call them, spirited conversations I've been having with the charming Mr. Blevins in my office over the past week. So let's address the honking big elephant we're crammed into this room with. The park has been acquired by something called Firebreak and uh, restricting access to authorized personnel. I wish I had more details to share, but those are literally the only ones I've been given. Upshot, this isn't a national park anymore. No visitors means no visitor center. We've got two weeks. No, this is not easy. If you're like me, this place represents something bigger and more important than a paycheck. Believe me, I'm right there with you when I say that this park is the most beautiful place in America. It's not PR and it's not hype. It breaks my heart to think that nobody will be around to applaud Old Faithful or stare into the beauty pool. <coughs> this is where we find ourselves. 
I realized there's a temptation to check out and give up, but I really really need your help over the next two weeks. Tours will continue through Friday, so I'm going to need guides, and even though all your offers at the gift shop are suspended, we've got a ton of surplus merch to box up and ship back to manufacturers, including about a bazillion unsold Mon Monrec holo figurines. Yes, Monrec wants everything but the display fix back, so no, I can't imagine why either. Please, you guys, just give me two more weeks of your time. I can't shut this place down alone. Visitor center. Visitor centers of bust. I'm recording the strategic and operational value at roughly 0 point squat. No reason we shouldn't pack the staff onto a vert and send them back to Nowheresville as soon as the gates are locked. Enjoy basic income, ding dongs. <laughs> and one of these. Old Faithful! It's Old Faithful! Still faithful, even a thousand years later. Cute. Okay, I want the pigments and I want the blue gleam. Nah, no, never mind. Never mind, ignore me. Until I do this. Let's make this quick. You are on my side. Don't jump me. Don't jump me. Charm, blue gleam, coil something. Didn't sell my traps. Got more paints, got a map. Got squirrel bone. No, see that the attached one is much more effective. It should have worked. Okay, got what I wanted. Blue gleam. Another old faithful? Breath is ice. Before I even breathe out. I can't see anything in this ice. Oof, pigments and blue gleam. Need to go. Okay, quick grabbing of pigments. That's it. 
running for pigments. Nothing else matters. Come on, come on. Much for being careful. Then how? Yeah, I know. Not what I want. How the hell do I get up there? I don't want to get down, I want to get up. I think I'm going the right way. Holy crap! It's so tight! <laughs> I hope you damn well appreciate this.
Um, well, out of the way. was a jump, dangerous jump. <laughs> ah, damn it. Okay. There we go. Nice place. One for Sakuli. Okay, and that the entire second set. Some blue, blue, blue gleam over here and that over there and a tall neck. Okay. Close the machine away. Blue gleam. I'll be taking that. Yes, I know. Well, the last one. Under me. That's a 
part of an underpass. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. Well, here's the last piece. Come on, I don't have time for this. A quick way down. Right over here. Never mind. Okay. That's it for now. Continue next time. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Have fun.